Good evening to you, Julie. That celebration of life was paired with the call for change, a call for hope and healing in the form of justice. And we want you all over the world to stand with us for eight minutes and 46 seconds. Eight minutes. That's a long time. Is the time it took to capture the world's attention. Think about what George was going through, laying there for those eight minutes, begging for his life. Ten days ago, the world learned the name George Floyd killed in police custody. His death ignited the next movement. But we've never had a demonstration around injustice like this, where in many cities there are whites, majority white cities, are leading those demonstrations. Martin Luther King III, oldest son of the civil rights leader who dreamed everyone would be treated equally, was among those paying tribute. When you see the video, we all know how graphic it is. It, it, it captured the imagination of the world. Very few things do that. So this is an unusual moment in the history of humankind. The memorial, a celebration of George, whom his family called Perry and Big Floyd. George was somebody who was always welcoming, always made people feel like that they were special. The thing that I will miss about him most is his hugs. When he would wrap his arms around you, you would just feel like everything could just go away. Any problems you had, any concerns you had would go away. I want to make it clear on the record. Paired with celebration was a plea for change. Will Packard, it was that other pandemic that we're far too familiar with in America, that pandemic of racism and discrimination that killed George Floyd. We fight for the unknown George Floyds of the world. And a push for social justice. When we fight for the Philando Castillo's of the world, when we fight for the Jamar Clark's of the world, God shall. Eight. Go on home, George. A symbol of a new beginning. You changed the world, George. And the perfect time to pursue change. What we want, not two justice systems in America, one for black America and one for white America, what we endeavor to achieve is equal justice for the United States of America. And George Floyd is the moment that gives us the best opportunity. Opportunity. And at the heart of today's theme, now is the time for change. But the desire for reform extends beyond policing. You walked away with the feeling everyone who address the world today was talking about changing and making a difference when it comes to addressing racial inequalities. Julian Randy. Thank you so much, Adrian.